Hi, it's Nash, and this is me. This is embarrassing. And by embarrassing, he means millions of Amazon packages embarrassing. But it's fine, it's fine. Not every day you get to make your Pinterest slash cottagecore slash Kiblicore desk makeover. So enjoy, and pray I don't break my wall. So this is originally how my desk looks like. I have my monitor and my laptop along with my sage green table pad and mouse pad which I'll link down below. The next thing I got was the most beautiful sage green typewriterish keyboard. It is honestly so satisfying to work with and makes you genuinely want to write all the unfinished essays you have left and would probably propel you to sit on your desk for like 5 hours straight just because you want to spend more time with it. The next thing I got was this wooden laptop stand from Amazon, and honestly, it fits so perfectly with everything. It also helps you maintain your eye level if you're using your laptop instead of your monitor. It can also work as a storage space, which I'll show you how. For example, I like to keep a sketchbook close to me because I draw a lot, so I tend to keep it underneath my laptop stand, so it's very accessible to me and I do not need extra storage or shelves to put them under. Also, I like to keep a little journal close to me so that I can do some journaling every day for 5 minutes and it really tends to freshen up my mind. I also got this green phone stand from Amazon. You can put both your phone or iPad on it. You can use it to put up a timer or FaceTime your friends and family while working. The next thing I got was this little drawer from the dollar store. I painted it green so it could fit perfectly with my aesthetic. I put things there that I could potentially need while I take a break from studying. For example, a little icebreaker if I'm hungry, a little notebook to write important stuff quickly, a compact moisturizer because we do not like dehydration in this house, my LED lights remote so I can easily turn them off and on, also, a lip balm to obviously stay moisturized, and lastly, my earphones all in one place, safely kept together. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Literally forgot to mention the most important thing in these trying and difficult times, which everyone should have, which is none other than hand sanitizer. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, my favorite hand sanitizer. You can get 6 of these for $10 in your nearest Bath & Body Works, so do check it out if you want to. I also got this wooden stationery organizer from the dollar store to match with my wooden laptop stand. The essential stationeries were definitely a lot of pencils, a post-it note to write all the deadlines and important stuff so I don't forget, a scissor that I got from the dollar store, which I painted it to fit with the overall vibe of my desk. I also got these cute erasers from the dollar store and this green sharpener. Along with acrylic paint pens that I often use on my sketchbook. And now on to decorations. Meet my friend Gigi, who you may also know if you saw Kiki's delivery service. I also got this mild scented candle from Bath & Body Works, which smelled so serene. Not to mention, I also got this really cute hourglass from Ikea that blended so nicely with everything on my desk. Speaking of blending with my desk, you can't scream cottagecore without plants, hence these cute fake plants from Ikea works wonders. As I don't have much light in my room, so I can't deal with fake plants. The next thing I got were these vine walls. I intend to put them behind my desk to get the cottagecore nature look going on. Now you can see me struggling to put double-sided gorilla tapes on the vine grid so it could be securely attached to the wall.
I measured the pieces and I realized I needed three of these to fully cover up my wall. So I put double sided gorilla tapes to all of the pieces until it looked like an entire fine wall. And there you have it, my vine wall. Easy, simple, and really so pretty. But I realized there were some holes on the vine grid, which is why I got these butterfly stickers from Amazon and attached them to fill up the holes. It really accentuated my wall and made it look like a fairy garden. I also got this leaf vine and put it on the side of my monitor to accentuate the green look more. The next thing I did was to go to Pinterest for days and days to find the perfect wall posters. I have an entire board of my wall posters and if you want to check it out, it's all down in the description box below. I printed these off from Pinterest and in different sizes to decorate the other side of my wall. It has all recurring themes such as Chipley movies, cottagecore elements like butterflies, frogs, mushrooms, and a lot more greenery. Funny enough, my LED digital clock recently just came in my package while I was editing, so I decided to add it to my final desk decoration. And there you have it, ladies, gentlemen, and cats, my entire desk setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully inspired you to make your own dream desk setup. Thanks for tuning in. Love you all.